Well, I can tell by your tone that you're wearing your cup hat tonight. <laughs> what are you going to do? Arrest me for breaking and entering, even though this is a church and it's, it's open to everyone? So this is how you're going to play it, huh? You're just going to keep lying to my face, huh? Oh, I've got no reason to lie to you. Really? I can give you one. If you've been working for the Balkan this whole time. I don't know what nonsense you're spouting, but I can pull your coat to one thing. You're crossing into stalker territory the way you've been following me around. Frankly, it's creeping me out. And it proves my point. You are way too invested in me. You're looking for someone to fill the shoes of your fallen Saint Elizabeth. All I wanted was an adventure it's not working, and someone to shag. It's not working. So you can stop. Not long after I brought you here, something changed. And lately it's been getting worse. You're just, you're too edgy. You're jumping out of your skin. It's like you get these mysterious phone calls. You, you, you run off on these mysterious oh, errands. Am I under some kind of obligation to tell you of my whereabouts every time? No, you were I... fishing way too hard about where Brenda and Sonny were having their wedding. So I lied. Fed you the wrong information. Don't you see? What's going on here? I set you up, darling. And boy, did you ever take the bait. Here you are doing recon for the Balkans. I don't so listen to this. Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? You're not leaving. Look at me. Look at me. This is over. Did it ever occur to you that I might be trying to help, Brenda? And why would you do that? Well, you know how women are. We, we go into a tizzy at the thought of a wedding. Maybe I was doing Brenda a favor by, by taking pictures of the venue. Or maybe I was taking photos for you to help you with You're your security here. prep. You're here because it's where the Balkan wants you. Have you always been this paranoid? Or is this a recent development? You're here because the, the Balkan's planning on grabbing Brenda on her wedding day. From the bride's room, considering where I found you. Okay, now I'm just insulted. Oh, you're insulted? You're insulted? I'm insulted, Siobhan, me, okay? Because you've been sleeping in my bed and working against me behind my back. And you know what, that's bad enough, but did it ever cross your mind that you're setting a woman up to be murdered? Don't arrest me if you're so bloody sure. No, not gonna put out the cuffs. Go to hell. Mr. Hoffman? Detective Spencer, am I getting senile in my old age? I don't recall us having an appointment. Uh, we don't. I just, uh, I, uh, was taking a chance that you'd be free. Ah, it must be important. How can I help? What's about Siobhan? She's been, uh, she's been acting erratic lately. I think it might have something to do with her immigration status. I don't believe I have to lecture you on the finer points of attorney-client privilege. I was hoping you could maybe waive it a little in this case. Mm, I would not. But the fact is, there is nothing to tell. Her immigration status has not changed. If she is behaving erratically, as you say, there must be some other reason. Search her recent past. Is there something precipitating her troubling behavior? Perhaps Siobhan is homesick for the Emerald Isle. Maybe you should buy her a plane ticket. She can't go back to Ireland. And why is that? Well, you know as well as I do that Siobhan's been targeted by the Balkan. She was taken hostage by his people, and the police are no closer to catching the bastard than they were the first time he reared his ugly head. Yes, there is that. And where do I come in? I was hoping for some reinforcement. You know, someone other than me, someone whose opinion she respects, were to tell her that she needs to stay here, where she can be protected, then maybe Siobhan would resist the dangerous urge to flee. I sense an urgency in your request. I happen to think that everyone involved is underestimating the Balkan. In what way? How capable he is. How close he is to us. Uh, how much he knows about all of us. I just... I don't want to end up cradling Siobhan's dead body when all this is over. I will do what I can. Within legal parameters, of course. That's all I'm asking. Thank you.
Siobhan! Go away! And you're the one breaking and entering. Don't leave right away. I'm calling the cops. I'm, I'm not. I'm not here to attack you. Okay? I, I've been walking around trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And as much as I don't understand it, I know in my heart that I wasn't wrong about you. You weren't faking what we have together. Can we please not do this, King? You don't have that kind of duplicity in you. You're, you're too open. You know, everything you feel is right there in your eyes for anyone to see. And that tells me that there's a reason that you're working for the Balkan. Just trust me enough to tell me what it is. I realize it must be a bitter pill. It gets snowed again so soon after having your heart stomped by St. Elizabeth. Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't deflect me with Elizabeth, okay? You've done it one too many times, it's not gonna work. Well, I'm sure the truth hurts. You're amazing, you know that? Even now. Caught as hell. And you're still trying to bluff your way out. But you're not that good at it. It's the eyes, remember? Now you're gonna listen to me. You're gonna listen to me for a minute while I say what you can't. Meeting me wasn't a part of some elaborate setup. It just happened. You know, we got, we got set on a course. We, we, we took a journey together. We ended up caring about each other deeply. And then somewhere along the way, the Balkan got to you. I would imagine whatever he's holding over your head is pretty serious. Listen, Siobhan, you can tell me. You can. I just want to help you. Please. It's my sister, Megan. Welcome, sold on her. I don't do what he wants. He'll kill her. <laughs>